Thank you very much. The New York Times Magazine recently had a cover story entitled No Babies, describing the decline of fertility or the reduction in the number of children per woman that has become pervasive in many developed countries. The popular press sometimes even speaks about a demographic suicide of countries such as Italy, Germany, Japan, and many other European and Asian countries. The facts are indeed eye-opening. Extrapolating the Italian population decline using admittedly somewhat naive methods predicts that the last pasta will be served on the banks of the Tiber in 2300 AD. In contrast, the US population is predicted to grow, adding a staggering number of 100 million in the next 40 years. Why this contrast? So while the existence of the Italian pasta is apparently in danger, no risks are present for the future of the Philly cheesesteak. Demographers, that is folks like me who study such issues, will tend to tell you that the roots are in the costs of children, in institutional incompatibilities, preventing the combination of child rearing and labor force participation, in changing norms or in social pressures. But one question until recently had no good answer. Does having children actually make the parents happier? As surprisingly as it is, demography has little to say to young adults, such as the annual graduates of this great university, on whether having kids during their life actually makes them um, as to their feeling of well-being. So we've looked into this, and as often, finding answers to causal questions is somewhat challenging. It turns out that having a child, but only the first child, does make individuals happier on average. And this effect is sizable. For those who don't already know, the first child makes a big bang in the life of new parents. However, it's downhill from the second child onward, at least for mothers. And it seems the effect disappears altogether at older ages. In summary, therefore, having children does seem to add to individuals' happiness in life, but perhaps not as much as we may have guessed. Two implications such follow. First, for the young adults at this in university, if you're in it for the pursuit of happiness, plan your life, including the demographic aspects of it, very wisely. Second, this research implies that if having children is consistent with individuals' pursuit of happiness, the fear of no babies in developed countries may be premature. And it turns out there's evidence. As the most advanced nations further develop, the decline of fertility, which in the past has been so inherently associated with social and economic progress, is indeed inverted. Instead of fewer children, at the very top, further progress on the development ladder actually stimulates more babies, including in Italy. So contrary to the pessimist predictions, bambinos and pastas may be plentiful in the years to come. Thank you.